In this video, we'll be exploring two of the many solutions that can be achieved by combining Kapow Software's ability to access content anywhere on the web with SmartLogic's natural language processing and document classification capabilities. Valuable data can be located across many different systems, database systems, web applications, file shares, and the content is often difficult to access and has messy metadata that's inconsistent or incomplete. Kapow can extract the content documents and existing metadata from any of these locations and begin to categorize the documents based on file properties and the existing metadata. Kapow can then call on SmartLogic Semaphore to evaluate the content type and classify and categorize the content and add additional metadata from the appropriate taxonomy for the given content type. SmartLogic can also flag content that contains critical security information. The content and metadata can then be loaded to any number of systems CMS systems, search indexes, or web applications. The robots can be used for one-time migrations or called as web services for ongoing integration needs. This is the Kapow Design Studio. The main window is the integration browser that allows us to interact with any content that we load into it, whether it's HTML, XML, Excel spreadsheets, or PDF files. Up above are the steps of the robot. These steps define how I interact with the content that's loaded in the browser. The first step of this robot is a for each file loop step. The for each file loop step will repeat the following steps for each of the files that's found by the loop step. The configuration for the for each file loop step is shown here. I'm defining the start directory and I'm defining the types of files that I want to discover. The first file is identified as we click past the step and then the second and the third and the fourth and so on. For each file we're going to populate the request form in the browser window. We'll populate the title, the file name, and then click Submit. The request is submitted to SmartLogic Semaphore. Semaphore sends an XML response. Within this XML response there are several fields of interest. First we're going to extract the title, security flag, content type, and then the project. To create these extraction steps that you see up above in the robot, I'm simply clicking on the file, in this case an XML file, right clicking, defining that I want to create an extraction step. I'm extracting this as text, and then where I'm putting that value. And when I create a step, it's added to the robot above, and then applied to every file from the for each file loop. Moving forward, we're extracting the objectives, and now we're extracting each of the product fields from the XML. All of the results are saved to the intermediate database for this file, and then we'll repeat the process for each file in the directory. I can go from design mode to debug mode, where I can run the robot, and each file will be submitted to SmartLogic and processed by Semaphore. The robot will save the metadata to an intermediate database for each of the files. Another robot will load the content from the intermediate database to the targets. The classification metadata can be used to determine where the content and other metadata is to be loaded into the target CMS or search index. The security flag can be used to screen content that should not be added to the target system. Now let's take a look at a federated search solution. SmartLogic's business information portal uses a sophisticated taxonomy to translate a user's request into the unique language of each information provider. For example, as I begin to enter a search term, SmartLogic's will use this taxonomy tree to determine possible values for my search. I see the result that I'm looking for, click on the term, it's fully populated, and then sent off to the various target sites that this search will be performed on. The federated search result comes back from a multiple set of sources, and we can see each of the sources up above, and then each of the results from those sources. This is the Kapow Management Console. Here, robots have been deployed for each of the search targets. The search term will be passed to each of the robots that will run in parallel the results will then be passed back from these robots and displayed as part of the federated search result. Here's one of the search robots in Design Studio. The first step of the robot loads the page to be searched. The credentials are then entered. Next, the term that has been passed into the robot is entered into the search form. And then the invoke button is pressed. The results are displayed in XML from this particular site. These results are extracted and returned back as part of the federated search results. Contact sales at Kapow or SmartLogic to see how we can improve search, classification, or migration of your various content sources.